Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you um, we have a list, and uh, what we can do is uh, to group it. So I will just, uh, for instance, uh, do group by status. And what you see here is that the, the name of the column which is grouped, in this case uh, status, is repeated. Now, think you have. Um, 10 or 20 times the same thing each each time a different value so it doesn't give really any any benefit so uh, I search for something that can be done and actually we have the PNP uh, list formatting and if I just show you uh, this possibility so it says uh, we can move from this status to to this showing the the value of this status and the amount so let's see how we do it actually I will click here on the JSON and I will click here on copy and I will apply it so currently uh, we have uh, uh, how it looks and I will go to the arrow here and do formatting current uh, view I'll click on advance, I'll delete what's here, and I will paste what uh, was offered. We can do preview, and now we see everything is um, hidden. We see still the value, and we also see actually um, the amount. So this is uh, much, much nicer and uh, gives uh, what I wanted. Uh, the second possibility that I wanted to do if I wanted to give some color. Uh, so uh, there's another research here that actually, uh, as you see here, um, it gives some color background for the status and it also tells us how many items. In case it's one item, it says one item. If it's more, then it says uh, items. So for this, actually, we need to uh, have a choice column. Uh, currently you need to put these values in order that the colors will work. Uh, so let's see how we did it. So actually I will go to the same list and I will uh, apply it. So what I did was actually uh, I went to format now, what's important is that this status had uh, the values uh, that are in the JSON. So you see I have pending, apply, approved, rejected, and on hold. And then um, I copied the, the JSON. So let's just uh, delete this, see how it was uh, before. And actually we will take here the JSON I'll click here on the JSON. I can click on raw. I can do control A, control C. And actually I will paste now uh, this and I can preview. And now I have uh, actually uh, also the background of the status and also the, the amount. Um, just uh, I want to show you that uh, here somewhere it says if the uh, status is uh, pending, then it gives a color. Uh, so if you want to change um, change the values, you need to change it also in the JSON. Uh, so these are some possibilities to to make your list, Microsoft list or SharePoint list, a bit more um, visible. Um, we don't want things to repeat themselves. So as, as we saw, this is how it looks before, but if we apply it actually without the name, then uh, we see it in that way. So uh, I'll put all of the examples in the show note. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Goodbye.